Depression is now becoming common to everyone, every age and every gender. If depressed people do not find a solution or have something to help them get rid of those feelings, it can be very dangerous. And the girl in this story was so lucky to meet her friend and lifesaver as well. You will definitely be impressed. Please watch till the end. For years, I have struggled with anxiety and depression, and I had never tackled it full on like I have done this year. By that, I mean medication, therapy, and talking about my mental health to close family and friends. Previously, I had dealt with it alone. Earlier this year, I took a huge step in life. At the age of 29, I finally moved out into my own house. You may think, 29 years old and you've not moved out of your parents' home? But let me get this straight. Living with anxiety and worrying about every little thing to the point where you get so worked up about leaving your comforts takes a lot of preparation and thought. My mother was worried about me living on my own as my mental state wasn't exactly stable. I was irritable and constantly in a bad mood. At the same time, I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to do something which made me feel better than I was feeling, something to focus on. The first thing that worried me was the loneliness, as my depression seems to rear its ugly head when I'm alone. For some reason, I like being alone at times. I thought about moving very carefully, and then I decided I would like a cat. Little did I know this little fur baby would help me in more ways than one. My fur baby, her name is Jelly, was a rescue. I thought at the time I would be rescuing her. She was moments away from being euthanized. She had just been through a mandubulectomy due to a car accident. She now has half a jaw. I tell her she's just had plastic surgery and she is like the other cats on the street. She seems happy with that. Her owners didn't want her anymore to the surgery costing way more than anyone could imagine. Once her jaw was fixed, they still didn't want her. After a lot of love from the vet and a lot of visits from me, Jelly was ready to come home. As soon as I got Jelly home, she was straight on my bed like it was her own. I soon became besotted with her, making sure she was happy and content. I had rescued her, of course. In March this year, I relapsed with my anxiety and depression. I was beginning to feel better with my new house and cat than out of nowhere my mental illness reared its ugly head. I slowly became withdrawn, only getting up to feed my cat and make sure that her litter was changed. Jelly would come into my room every given moment, cuddling up to me, letting me place my hand on her when I was crying in bed, which seemingly calmed me down. She didn't squirm or scratch, she just lay there, patiently waiting for my episode to finish, with me stroking her fur, holding a paw, or having her stretch out to me and rest her paw on my arm, to tell me, everything will be okay. My mother saw how content I became when the cat was around me, and how anxious I got when I let her out of the house. She hates cats, but even she couldn't argue that the cat was keeping me content. The more time I spent with Jelly, the more I became relaxed, and the more of a routine my life became. I was getting up at the same time every day to feed her, I was cleaning the house to make sure it didn't smell of cat, changing her litter, and I even mustered the strength to build her a cat tower. When I step back now and think, Jelly has got me to do a lot during the sad times. For example, I've wandered around the streets looking for her when she'd been out longer than normal, leading me to talk to my neighbors, which never would have happened otherwise. I would have run into my house and kept my head down. Even doing little things around the house, when my mind is saying, no, stay in bed, she has gotten me out of bed. During the summer, I had another episode. This time, she played with me in bed, followed me around the house, and nuzzled me while I was crying. Weirdly enough, petting a cat and having jelly nuzzle into my neck is comforting and therapeutic. I stopped crying, and I took a moment to breathe. My body started to relax, and the panic attacks soon faded, all because a warm ball of fuzz was on my lap or by my side. A lot of people around me say cats are selfish and not loyal like dogs, but my cat is wonderful. 
sensing when something is wrong, sitting for hours being petted. She even knows which guys are good for me and which guys are bad. She has a sixth sense. In the end, I realized I didn't just rescue my cat. We both rescued each other. So, when you feel down, sad, or having a panic attack, close your eyes, if you don't have a cat, and think about stroking a cat. It really works. The world stops spinning for a moment, and the warm fuzziness is transferred from them to you with unconditional love. What do you think about this cat jelly? If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. That's all for the stories today. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.